The mic is on. The mic is on. Everybody paying attention. Anybody want the National Geographic? The mic is on. Oh, yeah. The mic is on. Everybody paying attention. I better shut down that thing. Oh. Staples. Time Magazine. Somebody want Time Magazine? Hammaker Slimmer. Now that's sometimes interesting to read. Capital One. Teen Ink. Have we got a teenager around to read that? We've got a bunch of teenagers. Let me read that. Okay. I did all that. Okay. Okay. Now, I did say I would talk about the donkey, so probably why don't I do that well? Everybody gets organized. Um, everybody got all upset about this donkey. Well, let me tell you that the pockets was a normal donkey delivery. This was not. So I don't know what everybody got all fussed up about, but you know, stuff doesn't always go as you're, it's supposed to by the rules. Turns out, I, I, knew, I knew nothing about it when I went down and, and saw what was going on. All of a sudden, that, that donkey's not normal. Um, it was terribly weak. It couldn't straighten its legs. Um, it just wasn't getting, making any effort at all to stand up. And the mother began to get annoyed with the fact it wouldn't stand up. She began to pull it quite heavily. So at that point, I decided, my decision, that Grace would try and pick it up. Grace picks it up, and it, the, the legs don't straighten out. Not even by gravity, they didn't straighten out. Um, and I knew then it, it was it, it, we're we're going uphill. Um, so I think I think it's going to be fine. But if mother doesn't kill it, but uh, at the moment you know down there trying to deal with it, um, you know everybody's saying all sorts of strange things online. We've been there before with this stuff. Um, I've delivered a lot of foals. Uh, that one was not what I expected to see. So anyway, we finally get it. So it's putting some weight on its feet, which, mind you, took quite a while. Now, already, that donkey should have been nursing and running around, but it, wasn't, it hadn't even started to nurse. And with that, it went over and started to lick the wall. Well, that's the second thing that made me think it was a, what's called a dummy foal. There is such a thing as a dummy foal. You can look them up online. Um, they, they have some new modern way of trying to treat it with wrapping it up with ropes, which is ridiculous, but at least I think it's ridiculous. But there is such a thing, and it's, they think that, I don't know why, they, they, they have some reason for it, but there is such a phenomenon as a dummy foal. Um, they sometimes, if sort of forced into the pattern of normal behavior, will then become normal. But it takes about five to ten days. I think that's what we're fighting. Um, so we finally get the foal up on its feet where it'll, it'll just about stand, and that's when Mother decides she wants no part of it. At that point, we put on a, a halter on the, on the mother, which I hardly ever, ever would do with a brand new baby. In the, the, but we were trying to make her hold still long enough to at least get the taste of milk on the foal, in the foal's mouth so it stopped licking the walls, um, which Grace did. She, she was working that end. I was working the front end along with Joyce. And she was she had never had a halter on before, and you could tell she did not like the whole process. Um, the horse would have been an awful lot worse, but at any rate, we finally got the taste of milk on the foal's mouth, which was good. Um, and after that, with a great deal of effort, we got the foal around to the other side again, and that's where she got to nurse for about two minutes. So now she at least had some some uh, fluid in her and she at least was sucking in the right department not the wall um, that was a good thing so at that point we 
fed the mother grain, we made her stand still by feeding her grain, which she would do at that point. She, up to that point, she really didn't want to stand still at all. I think she had the natural instinct to kill the foal. But at any rate, we finally got it nursing, and, um, and we kind of left it alone after that. Uh, I, we did enlarge the, the stall, so it now has the whole stall. I think because the foal was so young, I think I do agree with Janine, it may have been pre premature. Um, I think the straw was a complicating factor. I think it is going to do better on the shavings and not have straw tangling up its feet. Very spindly, um, but it, it, it's up and nursing, and that's the critical thing. Um, P, you, all the camera people are watching it, and they have given me uh, videos of it nursing on both sides. It certainly would be interesting if you just keep making comments about whether it's nursing on the right or the left and for how long. That would be an interesting thing for me to kind of collect all night long. Well, I can't stay up and watch it. And I know that the mother is kicking at it. She seems to be kicking at it when it walks behind her. She apparently doesn't like that. Um, the foal is very light. So, you know, the times that she does actually make contact, it's light enough so that it does get kind of picked up and sort of tossed off its feet a little bit. Um, I do know that, that mothers, horses and, and donkeys in general, are a little bit rough with them, at least flipping them around with their heads. I've never seen one be quite so kicky in her life, but uh, they do flip them around their heads just to increase their, their, um, their balance, to get them to balance better and to work on their muscles and things. She certainly had the right instinct when she was licking the foal and, and biting at it. Um, she, she worked on it over time. And there was another thing that she did that was very strange and that she seemed to be fascinated by the umbilicus, um, the umbilical cord deal, um, which we rolled her over and looked at it, it looked normal. So, but even, even after the foal was up and nursing, it's something that mares and donkeys usually just plain ignore, but she still seems to be kind of sniffing at it. Don't know what that's all about. Um, this was not a normal delivery, so and there was nothing we could do to make it normal. So get off our backs, right? How's that? Does that explain everything? But if you do watch it, if you just write down which side, the mare's side that she's nursing on, and how long she nurses for, that would be interesting to collect, and that wouldn't take anybody too much time. Um, and let us know. If you collect it, that'd be great. But she should be up and nursing quite regularly, and the mother will paw at her to get her up. It, but that's a rough mother. There's nothing we can do about it. There's no way we can take the foal away from the mother, because we could. That doesn't work at all. So all you can do is just watch and wait. We're doing the best we can. Okay, we will now open the mail. Won't we? What happened to my mail help? I lost the help. Well, I'll start anyway. I'll start anyway. There we go. Here we go. This is from K.M. Vincent, High Point, North Carolina. I hear they're in the middle of a hurricane right now. I hope they pass it on up to us quickly. None of this business of them taking all the rain. It would be nice if we got the rain up here. Please, thank you. What do we got? We got upside down? I don't know which way is up here. It's one of those funny things. Here we go. Carlene. So sad that Bailey has gone on to the Rainbow Bridge. She had a wonderful life with you and, and you with her. Certainly showed your great love and affection for her by how lovingly you cared for her, making sure she was always com comfortable, plenty spoiled, and always treated like the queen that she was. I learned from you all the time and one of your greatest lessons to us, your love for animals. Thoughts and condolences. Kathy Vincent, North Carolina. Thank you very much, Kathy. Um, yep, Bailey just had a good life, but it was it was not getting to be any fun. What happened to the help? We lost the help. Oh, I know what's the matter with her. She's trying to figure out what we're eating for supper. Maybe. So I'm lucky. Wanda and Harold. 
are having great rains and swimming pools and things. Okay. They're putting stuff in their swimming pool. Sandra Fisher, Tucson, Arizona. I'll tell you one thing that amused me all day is listening. I've been listening to the weather, trying to figure out whether we're going to get any of the rain out of the hurricane. And all of them are trying to pronounce Gloucester. <laughs> I don't know where these people are from, but they're not from Massachusetts because Gloucester and Gloucester and I mean, they're going on. It's really kind of amusing to listen to. So, anyway, this is from Sandra, Tucson, Arizona. They also, Ipswich, Ipswich, they put witch, W-I-T-C-H. Witch, yep. There's a bunch of papers you read. Oh my word, that's a, got zeros on that one. Oh, out the bank, where did the bank go? Over there, behind you, that way. The bank, you found the bank. Like all CPs, I've been very saddened by the passing of dear Bailey. Well, you know, she had a beautiful life. You know, and, and granted, we're sad about it, but I couldn't, I couldn't make it go on. It was not no, a good thing. Right. You knew it was time. I need to crack open some of Bailey's Irish cream. There you go, and toast. You better believe it. Yes, I have a bottle. My mom is from England. We always toast. We have a Bailey's for Christmas and New Year's. We drank a whole bottle of Bailey's the night she was <laughs> I got very sick of it, but anyway. So many memories of Bailey, most especially last time she just got up out of the blue a couple weeks ago and wanted to and went and got the basket. I asked on Facebook, I hope someone can find that priceless video. And you said, screaming Bailey, and you, screaming Bailey got the basket. We all went crazy. Perhaps she was saying, hey, I got to do this while I still can. It was so heartwarming. It was so heartwarming, she kind of threw it at my feet and said, here, take your damn basket. <laughs> I think it was probably new, as you did, she, that she was getting tired. It was so heart-wrenching to hear your message when you turned on the mic yesterday, but I think we all knew the news. Lumps in the throat all around. Jeez, you got one too now. My blessings to all of you. Wanted to send this willow tree card as it symbolizes life, grieving, mourning, and remembrance. Hope you can keep this card as a special place in memory of dear Queen Bailey basket. Sandra from Tucson, Arizona. Oop, there's more things here. Oh, this is the willow tree. She she wanted to she wa somebody wanted to send us a willow tree. And it it really would be if we had the kind of place that would take it, it would be a wonderful thing, because they grow fast and things like that. But Ours, we're right on the forest, and the forest keeps trying to take over. So I'm afraid that a nice tree like that just wouldn't survive. Willow trees' association with the moon comes from the lunar influence on water, including tides. Huh. The willow is associated with renewal, growth, vitality, and immortality in countries England and China. Huh. Huh. Native Americans chewed willow bark to relieve pain, fever, rheumatism, and inflammation. The tree is featured in children's literature, including Hans Christian Andersen, under the willow tree. Wind in the willows. Huh. Rest of beauty. That, it really would be a lovely idea, but in the, on this place, I'm afraid it would just be wasted. Oh, look at this! You ready? Are you looking? Yeah. <gasps> That's oh. awesome! Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. In memory of Bailey. Look at that! Ah! Now what am I going to do with it? Wanna, you want to go up and hold that right up there where they can see it really closely? Isn't that fun? That's a good thing.
That is pretty cute. Okay, moving on. Deborah Carmen from Thomasville, Georgia. That gal that was here, Pam, that left, she was good. She, she was a bouncy thing. We've had two good CPs in a row, Pam and then Kathy. <laughs> I can't remember that far back. I can only remember today. <laughs> don't you just hate it when folks go all out and you don't even say what they're, you don't even say what they're talking about. They just babble along and then they go on some more. They yakety yak while you're snorty, snorty be snore. Oop, wait a minute. I'm getting there. Oh my. That just ain't my style. I'm, sh I'm straight to the point. Why well, draw it out and stink up the joint? So what can I say? This is long overdue. Here it comes. Are you ready? A big thanks to you. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? That's kind of cute. Who's this from? Yeah. Snails, authors, in memory of Queen Bailey. Thank you from Debbie, from Deb Carmen, Goldie, Blondie, and Pumpkin. With three paw prints, so there's got to be three dogs. Isn't that wonderful? And here's a nice check for donation. Well, that's good, too. We put that in the box. That's kind of a cute card. Maybe we're doing well on these cards here. It's going to be very one. creative. Yep. You have her address, you don't need that. Okay, moving on. We have a pink one. Galbraith, Lady Lake, Florida. They're probably half underwater too. Five inches of rain. Why can't we get some of it up here? In sympathy, love created the memories you'll always keep in your heart. Whoops. Hoping these special memories of Bailey bring you comfort and peace. Just a note to let you know, you're in my thoughts. Something for the fun fun. Patty Galbraith. That's very nice, Patty. Thank you. I apparently don't spend enough time in the card stores. I've never seen any of these things. Oh, that's very pretty. Dogs make you smile. Dogs make life better. Dogs make their way into your heart. And that's where they live forever. Sorry for you lost your faithful friend. She was a special girl and will always be remembered. Sending you lots of love and hugs. From Texas, Nancy. We got purple chicken bricks in her honor this month. Thank you all for the purple chicken brick department. It is just, I am overwhelmed with the number of people that came to the fore this month. And, and brought out that whole thing. That is the, that, this will be the biggest check we have ever gotten. Which is wonderful. We a few expenses lately that It'd be very nice. A pet is a special part of your family who will always have a special place in your heart. They are gone from our sight, but never our memory. Gone from our hearing, but never our hearing, but never our hearts. Gone from our touch, but the presence itself. The love that they gave us never departs. Carly and all crazy acres, a deepest sympathy of the passing of Bailey. He did. Well, thank you. Thank you on that one. Euclid, Ohio. That's 
threw that left bait. Ah. And this is from Kenneth Ellis. In some tiny little print, something or other. It begins with a dot. It's either Virginia or Washington. Hope something. They make them so print. Oh, Richmond, Virginia. That's from the stamp. I got that part. Right, it's, the small print is very bad. Right. Hopewell, Virginia. a dog in hopes of training it themselves. I was researching whether or not Danes are suitable for service dogs when I came across your website. I'm so excited to know a Dane is a good option for me. I am following your Facebook page and look forward to hearing from you. Don't follow me on the Facebook page because I don't know a damn thing about Facebook. <laughs> um, somehow we ought to get a hold of this woman and tell her to watch us on camera. Can you take care of that, Linda? Yeah. I'm going to write on the thing. Say, go to camera. Right? Yeah. And some and get the daily dog. Give the daily doggy information too, because the daily doggy um, has all the information on how to train a great Dane for service. It's just you have to go back ten years. So that's not my problem. <laughs> Okay, this is from the hiring manager. I can't wait to see this one. Hiring manager. That'd be me, right? Do the puppies come in? Yes, can't you hear them? I can. Okay, here's Zip Recruiter. Recruiter. Post 100 job boards at once. Manage all candidates in one place. Hire the right person fast. How on earth do you describe working here? <laughs> <laughs> Especially for no money. <laughs> okay. Put that word for Must be proficient in poop. Poop picking proficiency. Cynthia Bean, South Dartmouth, Mass. Is that Cindy and Jim? I think so. I think maybe. Yeah. And Ava. Oh. The love you showed Bailey radiated out to so many of us oh, and your love will live on forever. Grateful that we got to see her one last time. Jim and Ava and Cindy. That Ava's a pretty dog. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful dog. Pretty dog. Okay. Somebody's bill payment. This 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 every month type check is, is lovely. It's absolutely wonderful. I don't know how you do it. We don't we don't know how to do it on on whatever it is, PayPal. But a lot of people do it through their bank, as you've seen me sit here and open these envelopes when it happens. You know, an automatic thing there is just lovely. Um, oops, that's upside down. Yeah. Except they make the print very small. I can't see what it's from. Stephanie? I can't. It, yeah. In Beverly. Stephanie Cerrone? Something like that, yeah. Very close. Very close. 
Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephan. Stephan. There we go, and that goes to you. There we go. Here we have a bright green envelope. It's got to be from Jan. Ooh. My complaint. My complaint today is is mosquitoes. I must have a sign on my back that says "Come for a good meal." I've got the hiccups now. I don't use any spray since it's been so hot. All I do is make a short trip, maybe 50 feet out to the mailbox. But I, I get back in the house, I have about 15 bites on my arms, face, and neck. There's too much standing water here, and it's a good breeding ground. Oh. So happy that the CP sold out the board. Sorry for the reason that made it happen. But as you said, Bailey let you know when she wanted to sleep and you helped her. When you picked Nemsic to run the board, you did great. I emailed them yesterday about a problem I've been having. And Matt emailed back to me within minutes. We got together on the phone and he spent almost an hour fixing my problem. Hope you guys got some rain by the time you get this. We did not. Always keep up the good work, and you know I love you all. Jane. You spent an hour on the phone with Matt. Matt is wonderful, but you know, I hung up on him last time because he gets so many ideas so fast, and they're so complicated that I finally said, I haven't got time, clunk. You know, uh, I wanted him to do something, and, and that's all I wanted him to do, this one little, one little thing I wanted him to do. And he said, blah, 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 blah. then he started in with all the other things. I said, clunk. He is, he's a riot. He's a very bright guy. But his head goes too fast. You know? And there's just so many things you can do with a computer. But you've got to stop and say, is that the way that we want to do it? Is that really a good idea? Actually, the, yes. A lot of the use of spreadsheet, which you had the other day, you have to ask what you want to know from what you're putting in. And is this the way to display it correctly before you start? Because you can do anything with a computer. But you want to, what, what the purpose of it is, is to be able to deliver a critical piece of information somehow. And Matt doesn't get that part. Elephant is the only mammal that cannot jump. I believe it. 10% of married women say they love their pets more than their husbands. Oh, I go 50%. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I think I'll put it. 77% of high school students say the cafeteria food at lunch is their least favorite part of the school day. Really? Yeah. Well, well Keep in mind, they cut out pizza and stuff. Now they give them raw Oh, vegetables. I didn't know that. I was thinking pizza. Oh, no, I think they give them raw vegetables now. Oh. And an apple or something. You know, it's not as much fun as it used to be. Okay, so here's the bill. Nope. Certificate of liability. Oh, oh. Oh, that's still trying to put the building together. That's put a file at some place, I'm sure. Okay, next project. That's all we got for them. Okay, and then we have all, those are all kind of still type things. President. Jaguar, that's a shirt. That's Craney Corporation. That's the bank. This is the bank that won't give me my hundred dollars. And I know that the state gets to take it if they have no activity in the account for three years or something. So I just sent them a deposit of five bucks. Now they gotta send me those for another three years. It's probably your receipt for your deposit. Probably, <laughs> probably. Health services and Dan Resignable Hospital. So those are all basically yours. I've delegated, right? So I don't have to deal with them. Okay, here we have a Lois. lot of stamps. Lois Blackburn and a lot of stamps is right. 
She had to put all those stamps on it and a penny. Well, they put a stamp on the penny. What state does she live in? Vermont. Well, less expensive to drive here. Well, I don't know how much each of those stamps cost. But, but they weren't enough because she had to add a penny. Isn't that funny? Probably cost her more to print that penny thing than it did to... There we go. We got there. I think I've got to cut that open. There's a rip. What? Go to the left of your hand. Left of the tab. Full tab. Got it. Now what do I do? Go this way. Okay. Here we have some poop pickers and some money. Okay. That works for me. Lois Blackburn, Concord, Vermont. There we go. Okay. Well, that goes to the fund fund, or the general fund, or whatever you want to call it. And this are some poop pickers. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Moving on, we have a thing. Somebody's going to have to go pick up that Chinese. As soon as you open, I'm going to get it. You can do your question shop. I'll oh, okay. buy your onesies. Okay. Okay. Come on, here now. Dear me. There we go. Another one. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. Perfectly packed. Perfectly packed poop pickers. From? From somebody. From somebody. Romanichuk. Is that how I pronounce that? Winnipeg, Manitoba? How do you spell it? R O M A N. Roman. I, UK? Starting with an O. It just all the Romania. I don't know. Well, I don't feel so bad if you can't pronounce it either. You ready? Here we go. You're going to have this. No, you're not. I'm going to put it on the floor. Because you're going to go to the school. I am. I'm going to give you the card. I already did. Huh? I. You have the card? Yeah. You're all set. Okay. Okay. And this is from via email. Oh, another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got two. I got one box. Oh, okay. But you better go get the food. All right. Declaration. I can't read what it says. Huh. Oh, ho, ho, this was a present from me to me. This is how the Irish people make themselves a pot of tea out in the wilderness. And it just looked to me like it was a good idea, so I went and bought it. Wait till I figure out how to get the bag open here. There we go. And it's always wrapped in newspaper because that's what you use to make the first cup of hot tea. A gilly kettle. 
it, in this country, there's one very similar to this that's how you start charcoal. I'll just take off the papers because we don't need the papers. We got toilet paper holders to start by. Oh, isn't this fun? I bet this is all Irish newspaper, too. I can have to throw away because my hands are getting full. So what you do is... Here we go. What you do is... You you put the water in there, in that one, and you put the fire in here, and there. And through the hole in here, so you take the newspaper, and you sort of stuff it in the little hole, maybe like that. You know, things like that. A few sticks or a couple other things if you want to burn up. And then you pour water in this part, and it burns up this, which heats the water really quickly, so it says, and I do believe it's true, because I think the theory of the whole thing is correct. And then the, and then the tea kettle begins to make a noise, and you know, you can have a cup of hot tea. And isn't that fun? I thought that, that was the one. See, and then that's the, and then this is, I don't know, this is set it on somehow. I don't know about this part. I don't, I don't I have to figure that part out. I only know the gilly cattle part. But that has something to do with it. Isn't that fun? The smoke comes out here and the water comes back out there. Hmm. Isn't that, that that'll be fun. See there's the newspaper started with. <laughs> we will now have a cup of tea in the in the teepee. And the whole thing goes into this, which is basically a backpack. It's a backpack. And uh, that's how you have a cup of hot tea. Put these newspapers back in. And this goes back in. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay, you want <clears throat> only place the whistle on the spout. Do not push on. Okay. Never approach the kettle from the front. Avoid filling water chamber to the very top as water will expand when heated and may overflow. Never hold the handle, handle above the chimney when the kettle is lit as it can result in a burn. That certainly would be true. You keep children away from the damn thing anyway. Never use your kettle when the water chamber is empty. Well, that's true. Always allow time for the kettle to cool before storing away. Use surplus fire to extinguish the no. Use surplus water to extinguish the fire. The kettle is not designed to be a water carrier. A few small leaks may occur as the rivet points or the bottom seam when new. However, they will usually seal themselves after a number of uses. When using your kettle for the first time, boil some water and throw away to remove any residual sedge. For more information, go to www.gillykettle.co.uk. That's a very well-designed thing. We'll have to see how that works. We'll experiment with that. It's all excited in a few other places. I was all excited about that. Okay. Next problem. Next 
From me to me with much love. There we go. Okay. We got that. Uh, there we go. We're done. Now, questions. I will proceed to answer the questions. How the hell did I get in this mess? Um, okay. This desk was all clean yesterday. It's got pretty flowers, though. How do I look up this? I haven't got the right stuff on my keyboard here. Oh, there we go. Hundred eighty-seven new comments. I see baby on the floor and mom standing over. It, that's the way it is. I wish I could help with mail. I wish you could too. Mother just kicked the baby. Mother kicks the baby a lot. It's, it, it, it's terrible, but it's not unusual either. Flip the bottom part over so that the hole is visible and can draw air. That's true. We could, I did that. Suggestion, any mods watching. It might be helpful to have a recording of Carlene's remarks at the beginning of mail call, plus Janine's post about watching for 24 hours and supplementing, if necessary, as a featured post. There'll probably be a lot of inquiries about this over the next several hours. Maybe the door oh, to Lincoln is can be shut. It seems to stress Daisy out and interrupts much needed feeding. the door yeah, we do shut the door I, unless somebody turned him out again um, she can certainly get away from him and get in the other end of the stall the base is shipped upside down for shipping turn the base over and place a newspaper in the base and light and then set the pot on the base I, yeah, I, I, I did kind of figure that somewhere along the line how do you know Ron he's got to be Irish I hope Grace will shut the stable door. Daisy gets too nervous about Lincoln. I suppose you might consider reading the instructions. Hell no! <laughs> Nosing Carlene, I'll let the, use the directions to light the fire. Right. I went to a feed store and saw a giant size fly paper rolls for Barnes. Perhaps Amazon has, I know those things. And they are possible. God, are they a mess if a, do if a horse gets tangled in one. However, folks responding to Carlene's request for nursing information, be helpful for, to her if you would include the time as well as... That's true. Time, the di time, the duration, and side. Maybe some bootleg brandy. Well, you couldn't boil up brandy, I don't think. In the morning, I got to watch the rewind to chaos being reunited with Erlene and Paul. That was a that was a dynamite episode. Baby nursed on Mama's right side for 15 seconds, 11 minutes ago.
Janine and her supplemental feeding. It. Look. Yeah. I don't think we're going to need supplemental feeding. She's got an awful lot of milk. It's the whole concept of motherhood that she's not she's not totally in step with. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Hopefully the nursing will make her think she's a mother. What is male call? Well, we somebody better figure that one out. Not sure how to go there. Well, you watch the picture up above, and then you come down here and you make comments. Where's me, Chick Bear Steve? He was off for this week. Okay, <clears throat> the baby donkey is pretty precocious, and will will the mom and baby be kept separate from the group for a while, or do they get together soon? They have they, they this baby needs to be by itself for a few days and get its legs underneath it. Um, and I think we're gonna. I may try and put it out in that in Lincoln's pasture. Janine said something about taking Lincoln back home again. Um, if I put her out in Lincoln's pasture, just let it run up and down the hill a little bit, get some more, get itself put together a little better. This is not a normal fall. I mean, pockets you could have thrown out the day she was born, which we did, and she was fine. This one I think needs a little, little more tender, loving care. Now, how we stop the mother from kicking it? I don't know. You don't. You just hope she doesn't do it too hard. It is. It's not uncommon to have them sort of bat at the fold, say, you know, don't walk behind me or something. I don't know what they're saying, but um, at any rate, neat, I forgot the bitter end to keep them together. Skills required for working at <laughs> Service Dog Project. Breathing. We'll train for all of these. <laughs> That's a good one. Mama is keeping the baby away from whoever is looking in the door. Donkey or horse. Maybe she's starting to get motherly instinct. I hope so. I hope so too. Every time the baby sticks her nose between Daisy's back legs, she gets kicked. She needs to learn not to do that. I have seen that happen, yes. Joanne is watching. I think you mean Janine. Poor little baby donkey not getting the hang of nursing and Daisy not happy with her in the rear. No, she, no, she is nursing. Mama is keeping the baby away from whoever is looking in the door. Donkey or horse. Maybe she's starting to get mother. Keeping the up on their toes with the donkey. Willow Bark has a, a citizen. Oh, 
acetosilic acid, which is the basis of aspirin. My question on that one is, who, discuss, who had a bad enough headache to decide to chew the bark of a tree? You know, who, who figured that one out? That's what had a bad headache. Janine posted earlier today there will be a name the game for the new girl. That was a very interesting card. Maybe Daisy is a Catholic school nun. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. My grade school nuns were really mean. Yes, and I just think we miss them. I just think kids ought to be raised kind of very strictly. The baby is nursing from the mother. <clears throat> We've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen her hang on for a long time and swallow and things. So she is getting fluid. She is getting milk. I don't know if we could supplement it with Maud. Maud and I might not think that was such a good idea. Ugh. Maybe the baby has been playing a little bit. Okay, so I don't see any questions for me. No unicorns. No, we don't have. Full nurse for 1.2 minutes now and on the right side. Mom's right side. Okay, that's the other side. Yep. A 
Grace did get a headbutt. That is, uh, goat's milk would be good if we have to. Are you back? You're back. I'm back. Okay. She's got the food, so I quit. Donkeys are donkeys are donkeys are donkeys are strong animals though, eh? Sound is on. Okay, sound is going off because it's time to chew. Bye. Oh, that's not the right button.